Now, I wanted to get into the to the bantamweight division because the state of the division is somewhat in limbo with Amanda Nunez. She hasn't defended the title since, I believe, July of 2019. That's a long time. That's over a year ago. And uh, what do you think? You know, what should they we do the with the card. division? <laughs> we were on the same card when she last defended. Yeah. Uh, uh, with the John Jones. It was July 6th of last year. Um, I mean, the, the division is, it has a lot of talent and mm. these girls aren't going to go down to 125 and they're not going to go up to 145. So, I mean, the division is here to stay. We just need to make a splash and we need to, um, I think, show why they signed us, why the UFC signed us. Um, whether I, I know there's a lot going on in Amanda's life and she might be turning a new leaf, whether I get to fight her, um, I mean, that's up in the air. Uh, I would love to. And if I don't get to fight her, I want her to be in my corner because she has a she is a wealth of knowledge. And I think uh, I can learn a lot by either being her opponent or being her protege. It's incredible. Well, she does have a fight coming up, you know, with the with the featherweight belt against Megan Anderson. Do you see yeah. Anderson possibly pulling off an upset? It seems like people are counting her out already. Um, I don't know. Uh, I, I just would like to see a good fight. Um, I know that, uh, yeah, it's going to be, a, that's a, a fight for the fans. I think that's a great fight. Um, the 145 division is really thin. <laughs> it's funny because it's 145, <laughs> but it's it's a uh, it's it's lacking in um, in fighters. So I hope that they build that up a little bit. Hey guys, Sasha Platnikoff here, letting you know to tune in to SCMP Post Fight for all your weekly martial arts news.